My name's Stuart Hughes and I'm Head of Health and Safety for Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. I'd summarise my job role by saying that we look after the health and safety of every single employee in the team across all of our operations and we're focused on delivering performance to the team and enabling everybody to do their job and return home at the end of the day to their families in a safe condition and as healthy as they arrived. My general day-to-day -day responsibilities vary. I think no, no two days are the same in the team. We will make sure that we've looked at all of the safety observations or any accidents or near misses that have come in first thing in the morning. I may be needed to go and do a staff induction for our new starters. There'll be periods where we are out and about around the site to make some observations to see how things are, are working, see if there's any challenges that we need to take a look at. And then it's about strategically delivering our objectives, so whether that's delivering training courses to team members or implementing specific elements of our wellbeing programme or delivering some occupational health support to the team, uh, so it's pretty varied. My day-to-day -day responsibilities have changed tremendously over the last two years, so I gained another job in terms of looking after our response to COVID and the containment measures across the site and looking to see how we get the team safely out to race events and, and to return home safely and looking then at how we minimise the risk of COVID coming onto site and, and stopping our operation. So it's been really focused on performance and we've done some really great things. We trialled a setup at Silverstone before we went racing in 2020 to make sure that our COVID control measures worked and that was something that, that set us up for success for that season which was really good. And then it's been reacting to changes in the amounts of testing that we've been doing or changing the control measures as appropriate and working out how we can remain operational and functional but keeping our our staff safe from harm. How do I bring performance to the team? I think sometimes in a support role it's difficult to translate your work to on-car performance but we we know that a safe working environment enables our employees to focus on, on their tasks and for them to be able to deliver their tenth of a second to the car. We enable that, we're facilitators of performance so we help to remove risk. We, we need risk in our environment to learn to grow and to, and to find performance in our operations so our role is to be very responsive to the requirements of the team. If we've got a new test that's being developed, to be able to quickly assess the, the risks associated with that, what the right level of mitigation is, and then enable them to proceed with that test. The most challenging part of the job is the nature of Formula One, the speed at which we are required to react. The speed that things get from somebody's brilliant idea through a testing program and out to on the track and delivering performance is mind-bogglingly quick and we have to be responsive and agile to be able to meet the needs of the team and I think everybody within the organisation has a can-do attitude and that can-do attitude is part of our success but it's also something in safety that, that can cause some friction sometimes. My favourite part of the job I think, well I've got loads, I mean it's a boyhood dream to work for a Formula One team and then when you're at the world's best team it's even better. I love a Monday morning and meeting every single new starter that comes into the building to do their safety induction and to change their minds on health and safety is and how we apply it here so that's one of the things I've, I really really enjoy and then I think just true team nature so I've never worked in any other organisation where everybody's pulling for the same objective I'm from Birmingham originally, so you might be able to tell uh, through the accent, although it's dissipated a little bit over the years. I studied environmental health at university, a bit of a career change. I was on path to become a chef and then realised it wasn't quite for me, but was really interested in public health. And when I did that degree, I got really interested in health and safety. And I've got a fundamental belief that a health and safety work environment is a basic human right. I was busy writing a report one day and as I googled for some research a job site came up and I saw this job opportunity and I stopped what I was doing, applied immediately and I've never looked back and six and a half years later I'm here and it's the best decision I ever made.